All right, welcome everybody. This is me, Chrono JJ, going over some recorded games from a tournament that's been going on. Um, I intended to upload the games as I played them, but I am me, and in one series I forgot to hit record, and in the second series I recorded without audio. So I don't really have anything to upload, so I'm going to go back through the recorded games for this tournament. It's a team tournament hosted by Boyt. Um, called Phoenix Reborn. It's kind of like the old RTS League team clan tournaments, if you maybe remember those. 3v3s, and in this tournament, each the teams are divided into groups of four. Each team plays the other team in a two-game set. At the end of the group stage, the top three clans move on to an elimination bracket, and the bottom goes home. So kind of a generous group stage where if you get eliminated, you kind of deserve it because that means you got last out of four teams. So we are in a group with DOD, CUD, and SOO. Um, Sue. Uh, a lot of kind of new teams kind of showed up for this tournament. A lot of friends that kind of banded together. Um, and we're going to go over some recorded games here, um, going back in time, um, and kind of go over the first two matches that we had. The first match was against DOD. The first game was on Marsh. You guys should be able to see the game and see me and the game um so uh, obviously i know what happened because i played in this game so it's not gonna really gonna be like a normal shout cast kind of a deal which i don't really do anyway because that's not me um i'm more of we'll just kind of look at it see what went wrong see what went right so one thing that went wrong for us going into this game is that boy was he's on the old boys Boyd was supposed to play, but something came up for him. He wasn't able to make it, so we kind of had to play without him. And that kind of hurts us because Boyd is the old boy's best player. The old boys consists of yours truly, uh, Raifang, and then uh, Wiz, who is not so old, as you can see by his, his name. So we had some plans going into this match against DOD um, involving Boyd. Boyd wasn't able to come so it kind of we kind of had to scramble to come up with something and this is uh dod's map they picked marsh you got scotty with odin fox with isis and Shelty with loki we kind of anticipated norse on odin or on marsh because that's what happened um, we went uh or that's what happens on marsh so we went with zeus for rifang me with the chronos and then wiz with a loki um we are very realistic, the old boys, and we understand that DOD is better than we are. Um, so we decided, well, the best way for us to win is to try to triple somebody, and hopefully the guy that's closest to the Zeus, because the Zeus would have kind of the least mobility of the three, and maybe we can triple somebody and catch him off guard. Um, but we didn't catch him off guard. In fact, they were uh, well prepared. We could see that Fox is um, putting up a a monument um, as Isis, the black god powers at the very early two minute mark. Uh, so they kind of anticipated that coming up. I don't know how they knew to go on the Loki because theoretically we could just as easily rush the Odin. Um, but somehow I don't know if uh, maybe Sheltie saw the Zeus over here and assumed, well, they're going to rush. If they're going to rush, they're going to rush the guy who's closest to the Zeus. Um, so, yeah, they're putting up an early monument here, which is very good because that blocks deconstruct. Um, that would prevent, like, a nice restoration up in here. Um, so very, very well done. And then the temple is obviously put way in the back so it doesn't get destroyed. The other kind of bad thing um, for us here is a triple is... Look at the gold mine. Um, would like to have seen the gold mine, you know, up here. Something that we could actually get at. Whereas it's kind of all the way back and also has this monstrous uh, tree line to uh, help defend it. So it's all things that going into it as far as building four, we obviously don't know. Um, ahead of time, we're kind of hoping for the best and hoping to kind of roll something good. Um, Wiz is Loki, kind of, he built forward, which was the plan. Um, probably not really needed. It would likely be better for him to build here, and then be able to raid maybe 
even the the Odin and then kind of move over to our side. Um, I'm up with a 330, and this is when we realize, oh, I can't use Valor because <laughs> this stupid monument. Like, I was going to run right in on all these Woodvilles and Valor, but I can't. And then I also don't have Vision over here, so I have to wait till I get down here to use Valor. And that, that kind of stunk a little bit because I could have probably killed a couple villagers there. And now we see, oh, there's a monument here. Uh, what are we going to do? And But the only thing I can really get at is just this one house. And, that's not super great. We do surround the priest. Nice little pick off on the uh, the priest and Raifang should be up pretty soon. Uh, maybe a little bit slower than what he should have been. And yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll at least get the house down. Slow the uh, the Norse down. Um, but I was saying here, there's really no point in sending. The Loki here? Yeah. Able to kill one vill. Should I kill one vill or two there? Two vills. That's a decent. Two oracles for two vills. We'll take it. Get another house. One issue here is early Terma in this matchup don't give a whole lot um, here. It would have been better for me to send over a military academy or whatever you call those things. Because the Terma just kind of tickle these units. Fox with the five minute advance. Raifang, what time did he advance? This is a little bit slow for him. Like he should already be building these and really building forward. I, I kind of was hoping he would build a little more forward than what he did. Um, I guess he didn't much, that's okay. But what I was talking about as far as the Loki building forward, there really was no need for the Loki to build forward because even just the Kronos pressure here puts the Loki into his base, the enemy Loki, to the point where our Loki building forward really isn't getting any benefit out of anything here by building forward. Like Instead, all that's happening is he gets his little forward attacked while his units are all up here and now he'll lose houses and all that where it would have been better really just for him to build here and then launch raids towards the opponent um, from up here but but really overall this isn't a bad start for us uh, the minotaur is going to die though for no reason at all that's, that's a bit of an oopsie because the minotaur is a very important unit and Shelty, gonna pull that guy back. Oh, that was a nice pullback here by Shelty. So you can see he's got a couple low hit point hearsiers, but not getting any, not quite killing them. Get this priest, okay. So Fox gets a town center. And also is able to build barracks units and now here's the issues because Wiz had his temple destroyed in a, in a house he's not able to keep up Hersier um, Hersier production um, and now because Shelty is well in his base the Odin can go raid us because this was the point nice little attack here for me look at this two bills down yeah look at this kill another bill Come on, get her. Yeah, see? Yeah, this is, this would be against the rules. Um, all these wall chips here. It didn't really matter um, in the end. Um, but yeah, like at this point here, oh, oh, I'll lose units. At this point here, we know that with the ISIS in the base and all of this fortified up, there's really nothing else for us to hit. Um, we could have, maybe gone for like a town center dive, but I don't think it's worth it. Especially because Raifang for whatever reason is floating a ton of resources, but uh, doesn't have much of an army. Um, needs more than... Oh, he's not even making it. He seems to have forgotten to put auto queue on his, uh, his barracks. So he's not making any hoplites, which stinks. These units come running through. They didn't really do anything. So our plan was, you know, there's no point pushing here anymore. They've got this walled off. 
We're not going to do any more damage than we already have. And in fact, we did some decent damage. We killed, what, five, six, seven villagers? Um, but realistically, let's see. Shelty has 10 hearse here. Wiz has seven, eight, and then a few more in the in its base. So Wiz is a little bit behind where he could be because he forward built and lost his forward um, temple and forward house. Um, we also have a bit of a decision here. We're like, oh, we got we got restoration. We can stay up here. The Egyptian is pretty slow. We can come up here and um, wipe this out. Um, and do well, but uh, we we had uh, something happened here that I, I'm not quite sure why. Um, I mean, I know why, but we've got these raiding hurt army here, but Wiz has his army back. Like this actually matches up decently against this army because as soon as this gets a uh, myth unit spawn, um, he's fine. Uh, but uh, he's he's got to protect his hunt. I understand that, but he sends all of these hurts here back, and we had a a reasonable you know numbers advantage here for the moment uh, but with the right Wiz's hearse here running back now we're in a bit of kind of no man's land here where we were hoping to do like a triple restoration and you know win this fight pretty well and now we're like uh Wiz where did you go and now we're there's no point restoring this because we're so caught out anyway that you're gonna die um, and now this is kind of where, you know, the, the wheels start to fall off a little bit because on our way out we just lose so many units because we're way away from where we should be. And it would have been nice for all of this to be here, um, up here, uh, but it's not. And now kind of any sort of aggression here kind of ended at that point with a little bit of, I don't know if you can call it miscommunication because we told Wiz to stay, but he just left because, you know, this is a big army. Um, really, the, the play there for Wiz is to keep all of his units, his villagers, in his base for the time being and bring all of his hearse here up. And if we win this fight, we clean up everything for Scotty here. Um, all the houses, all along the long houses as well. And we've been in pretty decent shape, but instead we get kind of separated and now we're kind of in bad spot where don't have a ton of army and Rai Fang. I don't know what he's saving up for, but he's got resources up the wazoo where, you know, realistically he could have another 15 units at this point. Um, but he doesn't. And that's okay. And then I start grabbing a town center because we're not... The, the pressure's not gonna gonna work anymore, so it's kind of trying to fall back and do some uh, economy. But unfortunately, now we're getting pushed off of Hunt in the middle, and that's not very good. Um, hello, Joey Pants. And Wiz doing Loki things, um, trying to find stuff. But I get I get a few in my term. Uh, so this is the downside of Loki is the or not Loki. Kronos is the non at Eranos Terma really aren't very good. I mean, one little look at this. One little misstep. I stopped. And now the faster units here, because they aren't Eranos Termas, they'll just get. Now, Shelty should have like one hit one of these to slow them down a while ago. But like now they get all completely surrounded. And look, that's so many Terma uh, go down just like that. And you get a myth unit spawn. And now we're kind of in some, some pretty pretty deep doo-doo, as some would say. And we've got right Liz uh, grabbing a town center. We're still not terribly positioned. Just we're pushed into our base now. And Fox has been at two town centers for a while. Um, but it's not the end of the world. We're all right. Not terrible. Kind of eco upgrades we got hand axe pickaxe because i went 330 another thing too i went 330 which means i don't get hunting dogs early on which also hurts oh look at all this i don't think i ever knew this was back here um so i'm out i, I miss out on um hunting dogs like now i could kind of fight this this isn't a bad fight for me no. Ooh, raiding cavalry might be 
Go for a little building block. He just kills it. That wasn't... <laughs> Was it quite worth it? I guess if I kill, you know, you kill a hearse here at the price of a house, I guess it's almost about even. But Scotty, because he hasn't been touched, gets to go up through the god power Scotty, or whatever you want to call it. Um, right Fang pressing his little advantage. Still got all sorts of, man, he's housed, like me. Um, now, for whatever reason here, he, uh, this is a big mistake, trying to grab this town center when we're pushed back and defensive. I don't know why he would grab this one. Um, stay in your base, grab your other town center. Now we have flaming weapons being used. And Arifang's army, he didn't even need to use flaming weapons. I'm not really sure why he did that. Uh, we have a panic restoration, and... Anything good we did up until this point is now completely off the table because Rifang got very much out of position. Um, and now his army is completely dead. And what? No, now what? Now what? Rifang just lost his entire army, wasted time trying to build his town center. We have a Frost by Scotty who is ahead of Wiz. And Wiz is kind of hard stuck in classical age as well. Grabbing a town center here in this position also. I feel like against the Norse and a Norse mirror. Surely you try to age up. Not this. He's actually. Scotty is throwing away a lot of raiding cavalry against this uh, town center here. Like, to the point where this is not worth it to waste Frost on this. Like, this was actually a very good trade for Wiz um, here. But we're resigning because Ryfang's base, while we're watching the left, is in complete disarray. And we don't have any way to kill all these Battle Boar now. I mean, the, 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 the Kronos isn't going to. Um... The Zeus with two heroes isn't going to. Uh, but yeah, this was, wasn't was a terrible fight for, for Wiz here. Uh, but he was behind because he got pushed into his base early due to building forward. Um, so a very quick loss for old boys to start off against DoD. Um, and I mean, realistically, this was a predictable loss. Um, Actually, even though the game is only 14 minutes long, there were chances here uh, for us. We we did some decent damage to Shelty early. We just had a couple couple bad um, miscues, which was Wiz building forward. Didn't need to do that. Um, Wiz leaving here and then us getting tripled up here. We're losing a lot of army and then... And then Rifang coming forward um, and trying to take this town center, even though we don't have map control at that point. Kind of, kind of a big oopsie um, doing that. But we can see, you know, he killed a decent number of the Loki villagers. He's last in villagers. Um, economically also last. Uh, but so too is Wiz, who got pushed into his base pretty heavily there. Um, but you can see at this point, you know, not not too bad. We're okay up until that big fight where we lost a lot of units early. Because, uh, yeah, if we use... This was about the fight time our armies were meeting. If we fight that with restoration, we do okay, but not at this point. Um, so that's the first game. Old boys start out with a loss. We then move on. So the nice thing about... Uh, um, this tournament is that teams can pick their home map. So I like stupid maps. And Boyt does too. So does Ryfang. So does Wiz. So we pick stupid maps. So for our home map against DOD, we pick... It's called the River Styx. Um, a very non-standard map, as you can see. It's essentially team migration. Um, just minus all the fish. And there's a few differences as well, but it's essentially team migration. Um, so this was a, a strategy that we used probably a year and a half ago in RTS League against WKT, and it got us a win. Um, so when Boyt 
was not able to uh, play. We had a different strategy originally, but when Boyd came up to where he wasn't able to play, we were like, uh, well, now what do we do? So we came up with this a couple hours before the game. And then when Raifang woke up 10 minutes before the game because he likes to sleep, we told him, this is what we're doing. Think about it. And you should, hopefully it'll go okay. Um, so Raifang had a good 10 minute notice. Because uh, sometimes people, when they see us picking these maps, they think like we've like practiced a lot and are going to play really well. <laughs> we actually, Usually it's the contrary. Um, usually it's the contrary. We don't have... We, we actually, I, I've said this a few times, is like, the old boy's biggest enemy is ourselves, because we're all so busy, and our time zones are pretty goofy, that we very rarely have the time to play with each other as a team. Like, essentially, the only times we've come together and played with each other as a team um, in since last RTS League is for these matches, so... Not excuses, just reasons why maybe we sometimes stink uh, more than we might normally uh, but anyway so the big question here is on this map um, you've got this the mainland here has all the town centers well not all of them but six of the town centers are on the mainland um, and then there's only three additional on the starting islands um, and Elias hello and no life Brian hello as well um, to you um, one thing we forgot about when we were decided to do this map until like five minutes before game time um, was we forgot that you could use wonders to win in this tournament because in RTS League you could pick and say I want to play this map but no wonder a victory allowed um, and that's actually that scenario is what our strategy was kind of originally designed for was the no wonder uh, win because who wants to win with the wonder that's just stupid um, but yeah so our plan going into this is to take the middle take control of the lion's share of the town centers as, as they, you might say um, and then win a population battle so what happens is Wiz advances quickly he's set by the way Rifing is a Ranos. I am Ra. And then the opponents are Ra. Zeus, which is a really good pick on this map. And then Ranos. So, our plan is to just shift Citizen, who's getting path blocked by the boar, which died in it. This is actually a terrible spot for this boar to die. Uh, I mean, Look. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Oh, man. This is where you sometimes you gotta work smarter, not harder. And I believe what happened here is the boar were down here. And so these buildings should have been built up here so that they're on the opposite side of where the boar want to go because when he shot the boar it decided to run this way and then he kills it here and that's just awful um so the plan here i did a granary put it here still get hunting dogs um the plan here was is that we will shift over to the middle i don't know what we're waiting for come on use vision oh this is some idle villager time the set will take a really nice town center. Look at this. Five boar next to this town center. And then the Uranos here will just start making military buildings um, and getting on the base. So the reason I go Bast here, which I didn't need to anyway, because they weren't intending on going to the middle, is I go Bast here with Eclipse to block any potential shift that they might be trying to the mainland um, to keep them on their base, which they were planning on doing that anyway. So this strat kind of works better if the other team is also trying to 
shift to the mainland. Instead, all they did was build a dock um, and boats and then move over that way, which really isn't too much slower. Wiz kind of scuffed his build. He should have been able to advance at 415. So we're already kind of a little bit behind where we should have been. And Rifang as well, I think, is substantially behind where he should be. I'm not really sure why. I mean, he's working on a six minute classical age. And I'm not sure why, because that's not in the plan. The plan is to do your typical 430 and then just start massing units um, so that realistically he can match the other enemy, um, Aranos. So I do a rain right after. Uh, trying to get in before Fox got his, which I did. And we've got Plow, no husbandry because I'm six wood short and I can't count. I, I just tried to research husbandry and I was told, you only got 94 wood, dummy. So I can't, I can't uh, do it. Look at me. Whoa. Oh, this guy. <laughs> just madly clicking the husbandry button. <laughs> Finally, we got it. So, I kind of rushed this a little too much, given that they aren't going to the mainland. I could have been a little bit more efficient with my rain and my priest, got this priest out to empower this sooner, got my husbandry out earlier, um, aged up a little faster. Now we probably have Fox doing his rain, yeah, so he gets two rain, plow and husbandry. Not empowering this town center. That's a bit of a mistake. So one bad thing that happens for us here is Raifang and is way behind Shelty. 58 population to 76. And what this means is even though we've got two people on this island, we're pushed way, way defensively to where we, our goal is kind of to take over the middle, uh, but we aren't doing that. It's pushed into this corner because Ryfang's build, whatever, whatever happened with his build did not go very well. Come on, kill him. And so, yeah. So now the plan is um, once I hit up to Heroic Age, I'll move over, build some Migdols, and we'll take over the middle. And one thing I like about this map are all the random shades. They're kind of cool. The Hades shades, they're actually kind of annoying. And cool all at the same time. And they're getting in. Let's see if they kill this Carol Ballista. They kill it? Nope. <laughs> Have another Valor here. Fox is up Hathor at 843. Uh, this is not a good fight for Rifing to take. Uh, he should have ran in the span of that uh, shockwave. Um, uses shockwave and loses quite a few units on the way out. So, not a good start for Rifing, who is getting beaten to a pulp by Sheltie. And we also see Rifang's economy is just in all sorts. Of, he's got a thousand wood. Zero on food. It looks like he just threw down some farms. Yeah, he just threw down farms. Um, I really can't build him farms. I'm still doing it anyway because he needs... It. I mean, 70 gold is better than 200 wood. Uh, but I was a little late to send this guy up. And now here we are trying to build the mainland. We've got Wiz uh, building his army. He's having to use... I don't know why he used Ancestor there, because we were already winning that fight, but he used it anyway. And we've got um, Scotty grabbing a town center here. And Fox is doing something that we hoped he would not do, which 
he is just bouncing up ages. He is already aging up Horus. We would hope we are hoping he would try to fight the mainland here. And we really don't want Scotty to get this town center. This would not be good for us. But here's the problem is Rifang, I don't know why he's making Kira Ballista in this matchup either. But the one good play, we get the uh, get the Locust in to stop the town center from being built. These minions should have just attacked the town center and put it down a long ways, um, which is going to force more villagers. So what would have been really nice here is if Raifeng wasn't so far behind and Wiz also is really behind where he should be um, as far as army. Kind of the goal was that just Raifang and Wiz would be able to take control of the middle, but that wasn't happening, so I have to help out here, which slows me down quite a bit. And this is now Dot Fox building the wonder, starting at 11 minutes. This was a worry for us because we had originally planned this strategy around not being able to build a wonder, because we under we recognize that putting so much into the middle really does slow down any sort of potential attack on the base. So the wonder strat really, really worried us. Um, and that's what they ended up doing. And because Raifang has been getting, is so far behind Shel Shelty, they get this town center anyway, even though we have three on the mainland and they only have two. So this, this was a, a kind of, it's falling apart quickly here for us, where they're doing a strategy that we kind of considered to be a counter to what we did. Um, and we aren't controlling the middle anyway, even though there's three of us, and really it's just one of them. Like, the solo Atlantean is winning fight in the middle. Chariots here really are a, a, a terrible unit, too. They just, they just get wrecked by Terma. By Rano's Terma, anyway. Yeah, yes, it, it should be. But see, that's not... Our plan here isn't... Our plan here is to use our god powers, which we are used to on Shifting Sands and an Eclipse, to take control of the middle and get Town Center control. Because if we get all these town centers, the enemy is limited to just the six on their island. The problem is, because Raifang, really all three of us, really executed very poorly, and we are well behind where we should have been, that it's 3v2 on the mainland and we can't even win that. Because we're so far behind where we all should be. So far behind. Now, it's still not the end of the world. I mean... Fox is putting a ton of resources into this, but he's also getting a nice trade route too, which is really strong. Um, just see, so you can't really stop it. But a 13 minute wonder basically gives us 23 minutes. So that's when the time timer runs out to either to kill it while still holding the middle. And that wasn't a very realistic because we can't even win the middle. How are we going to kill? Well, how are we going to win the middle? And kill the wonder at the same time um, so a kind of a lot of our problems just fall on to execution where we're really at this point kind of minutes behind where we should be um, we should be aging up to mythic I should be aging up to mythic as well uh, but for some reason my economy was very slow to get going um, probably because I went fast and so I don't have the cheaper farms, uh, which which slows down quite a bit. Um, and then they also do something that we aren't really prepared for because we're so far behind everywhere else. And Scotty uses the underworld to go to our base. So we expected this. The problem was one of us was supposed to be Mythic Age. Look, I can't even age up because it's behind my uh, Fortified Town Centers. Yeah, I just canceled Fortified Town Centers. Um, but one of us was supposed to be Mythic Age in order to insta-tornado the Underworld so that we didn't have to face this. Um, but because we were so... we executed our build so poorly and 
Raifeng so massively lost the 1v1 here um, that I had to help out and fight here when kind of the original goal was for me to be able to just go up to Mythic Age quick and get a tornado to prevent the Underworld on our base. And this Underworld on the base is really hard for us to combat because we have built everything in the middle. And that's why we wanted the tornado, is because the plan was, you know, if the underworld, we can just tornado the underworld immediately, and we'll be okay. Um, and we can still hold the middle, and then we'll fight this. Um, Wonder's a lame way to win. It's... I'm not a huge fan of Wonder's. I mean, it's a, it's a valid strategy. In these kind of organized team games, I don't have a problem with a Wonder, because realistically, if you have an organized team, you should be able to kill an enemy that's building a wonder um, and kind of randomize just team maps where everybody's you know like your random 3v3 it is hard to compete against a wonder um, because the maps are so big really the problem is like on a 3v3 the wonder timer should kind of scale as the player count goes up because 10 minutes and here's the tornado but it's too late because he's got his town center now and he's about to build this one as well. And Raifang, even though he has a Sky Passage here, um, isn't hiding in the, uh, the base. The point with the set is to win any sort of race to build on the mainland. Because Aranos gives us line of sight of where all the town centers are. Um, set gives an instant vision to be able to transfer units and then build. And then the goal is with that, with an Aranos getting transported over rather than having to build a dock and a transport ship in Classical Age, our Aranos should have been ahead of their Aranos. Um, our Aranos was not. Our Aranos was way behind. So the plan is to win the middle with that but the plan did not work out um, as we hoped and so the set with the vision and the aranos the goal is yeah to take control of the middle but it didn't work because we executed so poorly that essentially shelty was able to win a 3v1 in the middle and that's that if you build so far away from, what do you mean, them? Well, you don't know where they're at. Like, realistically, uh, the reason he chose this town center is because all the, the boar were here. Um, the problem is we don't know where the Aranos is. Um, if the Aranos is down here, and transports to here, then it's a lot better. I mean, there's a little bit of a... RNG aspect of it, to where it just so happened that the Aranos was the opposite side of where we were, so he built way up here. Uh, but even so, the our Aranos should be able to outspam their Aranos, but it didn't work. And now we have not only do we have this wonder to kill, which isn't going down, but we also have all this nonsense. We can't even win our own base um, against the Zeus. And we've got this army of Axemen that uh, there's no more infantry here. I mean, he. Bellerophon, like, basically 1v. 1v50 is all of these Axemen. Um, but yeah, there was just a lot of very poor um, management um, as far as builds um, on our end. And this is kind of just due to the fact that. Raifeng woke up and learned 10 minutes before the game, hey, this is what you're doing. But yeah, we can't kill these Colossus, which are gold. Um, we likely would have gotten back our mainland um, by the time this was all said and done. But we are losing the middle, as well as not anywhere close to killing the Wonder. Because in reality, the, the Wonder... It gives us a little bit of a timer, I and mean, we've only got four minutes left. But, and that's the game, of course. 
But there's no way to counter a Vortex Fire Siphon um, onto the Wonder. The problem is the Raifang in this game, the Raifang Aranos has to be in that position, which he's not because he got so utterly demolished everywhere uh, that there's no Vortex with uh, Fire Siphons. But you can't actually defend against a, a pure Fire Siphon Vortex um, unless you have God Powers like Frost um, or something to combat that. Um, so that's another reason to go the Aranos. But yeah, this was really just a train wreck, mainly because up until five minutes before the game, we forgot that you could do a wonder, which meant that our strategy was not as good because if they decide to go wonder, they really don't care about the middle. So us, theoretically, controlling the middle wouldn't have really mattered so much because they can just go the wonder and stay on their base. Uh, but more so our problem was because our builds were bad, we were so far behind, because Rifang was so far behind Shelty, we, me and Wiz had to try to help out. We still didn't win. And then I wasn't aged up to the tornado to insta-tornado the underworld. Um, and then that meant that's the end of, Rif of Wiz. Or not Wiz, Rifang. But yeah, we, we were looking, you know, the comparison here. Rifang's just so far behind with a six minute age up, which is not the plan. The plan is to be 430, uh, like a normal map, but Oh he had Oh here comes Rifang with the with the excuses in chat. Far starting gold in the opposite direction. The eclipse is to block them from um using shifting sands to go to the mainland. Um it gives us a minute or more and forces them to stay on their base. Um, in this case, they plan to stay on their base anyway because they were doing a wonder strat, which we consider to be a counter to this strategy. And if we would have remembered that you could build a um, wonder, we wouldn't have even bothered using this because it's it doesn't work well against the wonder. But the uh, they have a ceasefire, so if we counter shifting sands on top of them, they just ceasefire. And theoretically, we could counter, we could try to shift and use like a rain um, instead. But I don't really. I mean, if they shift and then we shift on top of them, I mean, it would still be kind of even because if they're shifting their stuff over here, you would think that would be. All the uh, all the uh, Egyptian villagers plus a Atlantean, um, but yeah, we we had some issues um, behind the scenes with our builds. That I mean, let's compare me and like me and Fox should be about even as well. And I don't know if he got tributed or he he got tributed. I think that's just canceling. No, no tribute. He just canceled um, age ups here. It looks like looks like he was planning to go a different age up and canceled and cancel something here. So in reality, our resources are pretty similar, but mine's a lot worse. Um, still, well, maybe. So he got two thousand. I don't know what he canceled here that got him all of these fake resources. Um, Economically a little similar though. You can see here. I had some this isn't this shouldn't happen with the raw So yeah, we we screwed it up and they played well, but we'll move on So our, our second series, so you know now it's not lost. Like I said, it's a four clan group the top Three advanced so you really only need to win one series uh, So we move on to our second series And it's against CUD, um, who's got some pretty solid uh, players as well. Not quite to um, DoD's. Uh, yeah, no, I, I know it's the wrong order. I'm, I'm going to save the best game for the last one tonight. Um, so theoretically, this was game two against them. Um, 
but uh, this is their map Oasis and again Boyt was supposed to be here but he had things and the first game lasted a while and so he was not able to come and and um, oh Wiz is here so maybe maybe Ryfeng and Wiz would disagree with me but here's my kind of general description of our abilities is that I would say the three of us are all pretty similar as far as skill level um, the um, the problem is that we're decent but all three of us while we can play good we can also play bad and when you have a three a team of three inconsistent players the chances of one of them playing bad is pretty good um, at that point. So we kind of need a Boyt here who's pretty consistent and really the better better than all of the rest of us anyway. Uh, we kind of need him to take away one of those chances of one of us being bad. Uh, so yeah, you get three you get three players who are inconsistent. One of them will likely play poorly. Um, the old special. Ra goes husbandry. Well, that's actually better here. Um, hunting dogs. Now, there is some time involved, but hunting dogs doesn't actually pay for itself unless there's like 900 hunt. Um, otherwise, you don't gather 200 more resources than what you put in in that time frame. Uh, there's also the question of walking time. And so in this case, uh, there's no point in going hunting dogs here. It's just slower. Um, but you do have to have enough goats to fall back upon here. And it is very chill to get husbandry, and that is the definition of, of me. So I, I enjoy the, the hunting dog, or the, the non-hunting dog strategy. So their map is Oasis. We were kind of, our plan was, the Aranos can do some raids, the Ra can show up middle to late game. And the Norse can just get kind of defensive and a decent, a decent, um, maybe Ragnarok later on. Um, their, their god choice is Aranos, Ra, and then Poseidon. So pretty similar, just the difference is the Poseidon as opposed to the, um, the Odin. Was this his second hunt here? It might be too late to see where his second hunt is, but this is his second hunt. And Ryfang's completing it. His hunt is very far forward. Uh, this is probably Ryfang's hunt there. Which is a little bit far forward. And his zebra are also pretty far. This was a zebra here. And now... See, if I'm Ryfang here... I don't even know if I go to this zebras, at least, especially not with two citizen. Oh man, hunting, hunting baboons is so poor as well. I almost because Atlantean. Well, maybe he he got all his berries anyway, didn't he? Um, yeah, a little bit of the fact that the zebras were way out there is is rough. Um, but but yeah, I. Uh, Wiz is defending what he ends up doing, which is a forward town center grab. I'm, I don't know if that's really the right thing to do here. Especially against Anoranos. But of course Wiz is going to defend it because that's what he did. But hey, I don't... This is just... The difficulty with this is facing off against an enemy Greek. Um, the enemy Greek gets the initial, unless you valor your, your oracles, the enemy Greek will have the immediate or initial um, aggression because of the free myth unit and the two heroes. Um, I don't even know if he makes a second hero here. Uh, does he? No. 
So he's this far forward and can't. Now all of a sudden he's got two citizens idle um, with what was already kind of a slow start. You almost hear Valor, your oracles. But Raifang with the very slow. <laughs> this is kind of reminiscent of the first game with the 5 minute and 50 advance. We've got the. Five minute and something advance. And here's the big one. Wiz's all of Wiz's goats got shifted down to here. And now we have it was like thirteen goats get shifted. And now Wiz is in panic mode. And he's saying, Oh, I need my goats back. And I look down about this point and I'm like at most I'm getting five goats back. I guess I could have gone here. Um but if I would have instantly shifted right now, I, I could have got him seven, maybe eight goats. I could have gotten a decent number of goats back, but I waited too long and now they're all spread out. And then somehow I don't know how it misses. Like, how do I only get two? They must. These must have just been just out of range. But yeah, I shift back. To yow, yow. and honestly shifting the Mermillos back is worse anyway I wonder if it was what is the HP limit on Boobly is it 600 so I don't think it was the HP limit because this is only 440 and the ghosts are only 20 I would actually have to check and see what the HP limit is and see if that but yeah this is this is a huge problem because we have Wiz going to town centers and now he doesn't have the food to age up to heroic age because that's where this this two town center build is actually pretty strong assuming you can stay in your base and age up um, with your goats and reach heroic age without having to go to farms but now he's there's no way he's gonna do that um, so he can't he can't accomplish that um, and I wasted my shifting sands and my kind of thought process what I was going to do was going to do a shifting sands scarab attack onto Tunison uh, while he was aggressive on Wiz which naturally he would be because he's the Aranos facing an, a, an early second town center on Wiz so stealing the goats has a double effect where now it ruins what my plan was um, and Wiz is way behind. I think yes they did use a Promethean Offspring to shift it. So the little guy came running up here and they shifted it back. No, just a little Promethean Offspring came running in and grabbed it. Lesson to those who are watching, if you don't want your goat shifted, don't have them all sitting at one spot, because then they all get shifted. Um, no. Hindsight 2020, of course, but yeah, now Wiz is going to the pure dwarf build, which isn't good. And yellow can just gather goats for the rest of the game really he's got 22 goats if not slightly more depending on the max um, but I mean if Wiz has food I, I mean I don't mind it, the second the forward town center shouldn't be grabbed because there's really no point I, I think in grabbing that town center because I feel like in this situation, this matchup, you're not going to grab three town centers anyway, unless you're winning your side. Um, so what's the point in grabbing the forward, more dangerous one? You might as well just grab the back one, because you're likely only getting two town centers anyway until very late. Um, so just stay on the back town center. Um, is That's what I would say. That's my thinking. Is that the forward one just opens you up into more aggression yeah you get ghosts 100 percent but kind of might what what's the point if you don't need this and here is <laughs> the 
so there were dwarves there. And, uh... Now they're all back to Valhalla. Um, over here is just typical, I mean, you kind of, now at this point we need Raifang to win this matchup and win it heavily, um, and that's, that's a tough ask, um, in this, it, here, um, because now, I mean, now, uh, what's Wiz gonna do at this point, I mean, he's, he's, Forever gone, but no, I still don't see. Even if you have to fight to get this town center back, I mean, who are you gonna fight? I mean, if the Aranos is able to build this town center, you're something, something else bad happened. Um, like to me, uh, you really just stay on two town centers here, and yo, Frost allows you to get this anyway if you need if you need to, um, and then you can push, like. I feel like you're using Frost to get your town center and then killing his army is just as good as building this town center to begin with. Um, it's kind of, kind of my thoughts on this. Um, no, I just imagine it's still here. Yeah, now I have scarabs that, what's the point in scarabs? Back's better, Wiz. You're gonna, you're gonna stay. I understand you're digging your hole it's getting really deep. I, uh, it does Yo. make a difference because you limit the bad things that can happen by having more time um, coming to the back. Um, there's just too many bad, too many things can go wrong Better grabbing top. this town center. Um, guys these guys apparently missed their family members that departed before them so they, they are meeting and now the tornado making bad things even worse and really this is kind of build up onto Wiz being so far behind already like the the, the counter to this is to be heroic and have fortified town centers slash masons before this um, which is possible um, if he doesn't get hammered so hard early on but at this point I mean Wiz is, Wiz is out of the game I mean it's a 2v3 at this point so like the only hope is that either me or Raifang just absolutely win our side of the map um, and you know Raifang's doing pretty decent over here but he's he's not steamrolling and I'm a little bit behind because I have to come over here and help Wiz. Um, although my guy did use Tornado, but kind of the problems are more so what happened earlier. Um, and now Green is able to just kind of freely wander up the middle of the map. I should have walled this. I don't know why I didn't. It's really dumb not to. That's my economy. I'm okay is he's worse than me but yeah this not looking good um, a really one-sided affair really and you know I think doing what he needs to, needs to do here nice little push on two villagers getting on some uh, I'll check it afterwards I think it's pretty similar really one thing that hurt was um my market got delayed, so I couldn't use it. I, I, I couldn't make it. But yeah, this is some nice, nice pressure here. So, Rafa actually playing this this pretty well. You can see, I mean, by score, he's decently ahead. Um, my mythic is behind. Um, it's mainly because Green didn't have to build a single military unit um, to help. I, I felt like, ah, dang it, I gotta come over here and help Wiz because he's so far behind, which then he just uses Tornado anyway. 
And now is yeah, right things a little bit out of position here. Like the thing is at this point, having this many units back here really isn't necessary. Um, you could kind of half this army and be okay. But see, this is still okay. Um, the, the bigger problem here is you're not at full pop. Yeah, a tornado here would have been pretty strong as well. Actually, now you're thinking about it. I mean, at this point, I'm just holding a tornado for, for anything. Yeah, a tornado on this would have really put blue behind. Um, but yeah, the, the issue, I think, yeah, I mean, you look at all the the resources you had in, in the bank. Um, you do have green on your face. I mean, this is a disaster also for us. Um, I'm trying to tech into Horus Spearman, but they lose to the chariot, so kind of a mistake to do it this early. Um, or, but yeah, your, your additional production buildings are a little too late. Also, a big thing that... Um, that um, a lot of players don't get is an early Masons. Um, especially you had the resources. Masons makes a huge difference um, when being attacked by just normal units. Um, the big thing the, the, the big thing is the minus 20% hack vulnerability. Um, this is huge against like Norse um, or Greek that do unit attacks on the town centers is the Masons. Like even if you just have Masons, you might not even lose this town center. Um, but yeah, we've got Wizzes wiped off the map. And now Raifang, who was in a really good position, um, stay here a little too long with too many units. And now he's kind of on the defensive. He has a ton of resources in the bank. And then I'm also behind green as well. Really, I shouldn't have been behind green as much as I was either. It's just a bit of a build issue. But um, yeah, I mean, this is just small mistakes that create bigger ones like the one small mistake is goats get shifted um, which then results in me having to blow my shift it results in me sending units down here to try to help which slows my age up um, and then Wiz just basically gets wiped off the map based off of just that one thing to begin with which is the um, the shift well segment I don't mind segment people love um, Hathor, because of just Mercs. Sekhmet's Citadel Town Center to get 10 extra population is 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 very good. Um, and the the siege technology uh, for catapults is also good. But what the the plan was, what I was going to do is, um. No, Citadel. Citadel, I believe, if it's even if it's on upgrade, it still gets killed by um, uh, tornado. The plan here was that while yellow's forward, pink, aka me, um, builds an army, and I shift onto one town center and I tornado the other with scarabs. So as soon as I hit mythic i have a couple um scarabs army and tornado so that would kind of counteract the tornado on wiz's base and theoretically wiz would be heroic then as well and would also have a frost so that was kind of our thought process going into this or at least mine um, but once wiz gets so far behind early on everything else just the, the whole plan falls apart um, at that point because I can't I mean maybe I should have tried to do it anyway you know try to do something but I think it was, it was just the loss of the goats becomes so 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 uh, it just becomes huge uh, let's see let's compare like our economies are pretty much identical me and uh, green pretty much the same overall 
So really, one wasn't necessarily ahead of the other. It's just he he used his resources a little bit better as far as, I mean, the, the value he gets out of the instant tornado is more than the value I got out of my army um, that wasn't doing anything. Uh, I think I was also, yeah, I had some more um, macro issues where I must have had a lot of one resource and none of another. I think I had a ton of food and no gold. Yeah. So, so I had some macro issues here, but I mean, the raw tube town center, it's hard to mess up. I, mean, I think as far as, oh, it was us, as far as villagers, we're pretty much even, I got my trade route going, but then he killed it. My biggest issue was actually just not walling off this middle because this allowed him just to wander straight up the middle of the map. Uh, but. Anyway, um, so I won't answer that heedless because some people have not have seen these games yet. So that's why I'm, I'm going uh, over these one at a time. So if you need information for the match, the series um, is uh, you can go to Discord. Well, I don't even think I use my tornado. Yeah, I never even used it. But, I mean, it goes back to the reason I didn't get any value out of it is because kind of our original plan fell apart. And at this point, I mean, by the time I got to Tornado, there was no point of using it anyway, because the game was over. Because um, if Wiz has Frost, him losing the town center here doesn't really matter, because basically he frosts and rebuilds it. And... It's not the end of the world. Um, my goal is shift onto one town center, frost onto the other, and, or a tornado on the other, and then Wiz now can come through. And now while the while green would be somewhere else, hopefully, we would have yellow in a pretty bad shot spot. And then we would just want what right Fang to hold, you know, at least go even on his side. Um, but yeah, it didn't ever get used. So we're going to go to... Now the fourth game. So so far, OB having troubles. <laughs> well, that's okay. We're going Vinland. This is our home map. It's a fun one. This is um probably my favorite map that's in Age of Mythology. It's just so wacky and zany, and and really is fun. Um, and what we've got here, we've got Mies Kronos. Ryfang is Gaia, and then Boyt. Boyt makes an appearance, finally. He's set. And our opponents are Loki, Gaia, and Set. So, pretty similar. The only difference is the Loki for a Kronos. Um, going into this, we were a little worried about a Loki, because Loki does really well on land. Um, early on in this game and that was something we were a little bit worried about because we've played this map before and before we've had a Loki kind of go ham on us um, so yeah we were worried about our Loki but we felt like ah, we can well, we can be all right you know we play it right and don't let the Loki just snowball into a huge myth unit spawning Hersier massing like behemoth um, and, it, and we should be okay um, so the Loki pick, I do like the Loki pick for them. Um, I'm maybe rethinking. Kronos and Aranos are almost interchangeable here, though Aranos is maybe a better choice than Kronos. Uh, what Kronos gets is being able to time shift all over and time shift onto the enemy bases as well um the islands very easily with like a behemoth push um in the uh heroic age and they flatten a bunch of town centers um but really aranos can almost do that as well by just transporting a citizen and building a sky passage it's almost better um it's something i kind of didn't think about when i was do i go chronos do i go aranos um, but the plan here is the set takes control of the map, gets a big, gets a nice fish boom, gets a lot of town centers. 
while the Gaia fights the water. And the Kronos does a little fighting, but also goes on the land because we're assuming the Herseers from Loki are just going to come out. Um, yeah, being able to see the town centers is nice too. Though, with Set and all of our oracles, we were pretty confident that we'd be able to see the town centers to know where we wanted to go um, as far as shifting. Um, Boyt wanted to go, let's see, I think Boyt was a fan of going to a back town center. I'm kind of personally a fan of a front town center. Um, I feel like that gives a little bit more value, but um, we're going for a little bit of a four minute advance. So 413, it's a little slow, mainly because the berries were so far away. You can get about a 405 um, advance here. Uh, so not terrible. Um, let's see, what is Ryfang's advance? Ryfang's a little bit slow. Kind of made an extra, oh, come on. You didn't tell me you did that. The, I think the four, the four, the one fewer ville is probably the better choice here. Because this is a lot of idle town center time. Going with one extra ville. Oh, I don't think it's worth it. And I guess maybe we didn't scout the full, I think we end up going, what do we do? But yeah, the, so the set, where's, where's boy? The set, of course, shifts to the mainland, um, and you can use vision for it, or in this case, we have our oracles have found now three town centers um, in the back here. Um, but see, what I would do here, this is my thought process for this, is we are likely going to get to these town centers anyway. Um, so why not? shift to a front one like almost I would almost just say let's shift on to the Loki here and kill him so I deconstructed one temple this was a good this is actually went really well this is a good start for us um, I procced the uh, the scralings onto I think they go on to this the hearse here eventually um, I don't think, though, I quite see his houses. Yeah, now I see his houses. Yeah, these guys should have been on the houses. I was also a little slow in getting... Where is my temple? Oh, my temple's way back here. See, the temple should have been forward more so that I can get my Prometheans. Because the problem now, though, is that I, I'm targeting the wrong buildings. The If the damage here is on the houses so i put 400 something damage on the house i could have killed this house already and now have killed the second house and he would have not gotten these last few first year out he would be at 45 of 55 population so targeting this temple and doing all that damage is a bit of a mistake um could have done a little bit better Wonder, do these guys give favor for being killed? I don't know. I can't tell. Oh, right So now we got a big fight on the water. Um, me and uh, Raifang. Really against just red. Ooh, nice little hit there by the... Uh... Oh, and I didn't even quite get that house either. Yeah, see, I could have done this just a little bit better with my units. Slowed him down more if I get on these houses. He would be quite a bit slower getting units. But it went okay overall. And it's nice, too, getting on the uh, front here where we're able to push um, the Loki off of some water. Uh, is this a good fight for us? Maybe fall back a little bit. But yeah, see, I would rather, that's why I would rather have the set build forward here and take a forward town center. 
but Boyt wanted to be safe. I mean, there's kind of two thought processes behind what Boyt does here. Like, he wants to be safe so he can age up and be very safe and not have to worry about anything. Um and get a bigger boom. I, I think it's better to go aggressive. What's this dude's doing? <laughs> and go forward on the enemy. Watch out for the... Not a super great fight for us here. Probably shouldn't be fighting this. We're losing a lot of boats. But we are on some of the Loki's fish, so that's good. Does, it does give favor. <laughs> so the Skrylings, killing the Skrylings is kind of nice for the, uh, the Loki. So uh, in the end, our boat fights kind of end pretty even. N nice carnivore placement here. Insta kill. And forces a retreat. It's a good carnivore. That that actually resulted in like five ships going down. Carnivore is kind of... I, you see it more now. I don't know what I'm doing with my boats other than losing them. I don't know why they're this far forward. Get back, you moron. Um, carnivore is a very good god power. Especially You get three charges of it. That's, that's worth a lot. A little far forward here. Also, the fishing ships, really the fishing ships tanking the damage is is actually pretty good. He cleans up the fish. But see, Boyd's plan is he wants to get heroic quickly. But really getting heroic quickly against the Loki probably doesn't net you a whole lot. I mean, it does get you an earlier Leviathan, but I'm not sure it's really worth it because now he gets he gets stopped on this town center and he has no axemen and now I'm transitioning to the land we've got right Fang grabbing a town center also on the land our water fight you know with the help of this uh, Leviathan which now is a little idle right Fang should actually okay here it comes forward yeah, that's a lot of boats there to fight See, at this point Probably don't even bother fighting, just fall back and do some ship raiding. Oh, and there's a uh, carnivora. Look out! Yeah, the Loki has a lot of army. I mean, some of it though is I'm a little behind. I mean, you're also looking at a Loki that didn't have to put anything into water fights. So he's going to be ahead as opposed to, I probably made 10 to 15 boats um, realistically here. I mean, I have the resources to build more. I just don't have enough buildings. So if I don't make any boats and I go pure land, I can, I can match up against this. But yeah, I would rather there be a little bit more Axemen earlier than what there was. with the random components here. Okay, so yeah, you do you do go around where I think does and hit the fish, so that's good. In the town center range, so but that's all right. So it gets the transport ship too. That's kind of annoying. At this point, no, get out, get out, get out, get out. Just hit a few more boats and be on your way. But see now, this, this little attack here just slows weight down and then me a little bit I mean I kind of need this town center too though um, to get something on the land well that was that's is what I did is I stopped making boats once yellow started fighting um, I was just a little too slow and now I'm at a point where I kind of run out of resources on my base and we're in decent shape here we even have yeah Nino's losing some boats um, so <laughs> I don't even know if I uh, don't want to watch what happens but yeah this uh, this attack here just slows us down on land quite a lot 
So I see these boats going this way. I'm like, I got to get these dudes to the mainland. I'm like, I got time. And I don't see them come back this way. And this is 11 citizens. Yeah, that's not a good time. Not a good time. This is... This ends up being the Titanic Age of Mythology style. This is the equivalent of 33 villagers at the 12.30 mark. And down they go. And that puts me behind. So far, I mean, what do I have? Seven? I have seven villagers now. I mean, that's 11 of my 18 guys just died. And I now I need this town center more than ever because I've lost, just lost 11 citizens. Not good. But finally, after all this effort, we hold this position. But it slowed us down so long because Boyt, at this point, is quite a bit ahead of Tunisian as far as economy, town centers, um, and um, just overall situ you know, si situation as far as where he's at. But I'm uh, not Tunisian. I need to look at Nino. Okay, maybe he's not actually that far ahead now because of all the stuff he had to put in. And Nino goes up with a pretty quick um, heroic or mythic age here. Um, which is good. But because Boyt got slowed down so 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 much here, it, it does give them control of the map for now. They've got all of this here. Which is where I would have liked to have seen. I mean, if we just grab this, maybe shift to this town center, we can get these and then kind of safely grab the back. Um be okay but in the end the water kind of just ends up pretty even Good. Boyt made where, where's Boyt did he make boats on water yet or not what color is Boyt's blue he's made a few he's got villagers here all kind of staring off at the, the water get a bit of a deconstruct and now we're kind of transitioning now into what's well, a very a very close mid game here, um, but I am so far behind because of my villager kills. Where I have a lot of fish. We've got tornado here. This was not a good tornado. Almost a completely useless tornado in reality because it runs out, it doesn't quite kill the town center. It runs out of, it hits its max. So in reality, all this tornado did was kill two barracks. It was not a good tornado. Um, not a good tornado. So the Addy citizen counts. Yeah, we can do that real quick. So let's see, oh, we still got so oh, the problem is it's going to show who is. <laughs> so it's going to include my boats. But you can see I had, of all of the Atlanteans, I had the best economy. I had the most boats. But then this is the 11 citizens getting getting shrecked here. Um, Now I'm a little bit behind economically because they're Gaia and I'm not. But yeah, you can see just just the fall off in units. Because just imagine right now, I mean, I have all the food I could want, but I don't have villagers to gather wood or gold because they died. So I can't get gold and I can't get wood and I just have to slowly wait. And so this is a very weird use of vision. So what what happened is I asked if I could get vision of this island. And Boyd says, oh, you need vision on the island? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he uses vision. 
Even though we have these two boats here. Because the only reason I wanted Vision was so I could shift um, a temple onto here and start doing some Behemoth Rush. Um, so, yeah, we wasted Vision, which... You don't want to waste God powers like that, even though it's just vision. But, I mean, being able to get instant vision on something that you want, it's, it's pretty important. Um, and this is kind of where the Kronos starts to get pretty strong because you can vortex and get a base on an enemy island and get kind of a pretty easy uh, population advantage pretty quickly. Um, the problem is, because I lost 11 citizens, I'm so far behind where I could be. Um... It's just a huge problem. What are all these camels doing up here? It's kind of hanging out. It would be nice if they were maybe down here. And so right now, what we've got is is essentially it's a 3v2 because I don't have the economy to support any sort of army production. Um, and we also have Nino getting secrets to the titans um, which that's a very good play because uh, if you can get a titan really the first person that gets a titan on this map can prevent anybody else from getting a titan uh, because the island really is not that big compared to like a normal map so the titan can transvert, traverse this island very quickly um, and prevent anybody else from gather getting a titan so the insta titan here is a very good play um, by uh, uh, Nino Let's see, Nino. See, Boyd also, he's at 200 population. He's in a great spot here as far as economy, population. One issue Boyd has, though, is there's really no point for him to even be farming on his base. Like, all of these villagers, because he has, I mean, look at his boat boom. He's got boats everywhere. The transition to farms here is really not necessary. Um, he doesn't need it. I mean, if these 24 villagers are on the mainland and just mining gold from here, Boyt is in s such a better position. I mean, he's aging up already by now. Um, I mean, because he'll have the gold. And he would be aging up with a tornado, in which case, tornado on the Titan Gate would kill it. Now, here we we also have Boyd making Heroic Age siege ships, which aren't very population friendly um, as far as effective, because they don't do very well. They, he did end up with the boats and villagers. I missed where he came down here and attacked this town center. But again, now he's got... Even more villagers farming that don't need to farm. And now the Kronos here is... This, this uh, actually does... This does this is pretty good. Doing this. Oh man, I even just... Manly Valor. We got... Where did the wolves spawn? One wolf spawned here. One on this base. I thought that, that doesn't do a whole lot. We had wolves spawn on Boyt. This was actually for the best. Boyt should just let all his villagers die. Um, and then the other spawn was right here. So the wolf spawn didn't do super red hot for them. Probably the best spawn was here. But again, like, still, I am not in this game because I lost 11 citizens. Like, if you just think about the difference, if I don't lose those 11 citizens, I'm at the same spot as Ryfang, really, because I was at the same spot as him. Um, and Ryfang kind of starts popping off a little bit. He also uses kind of the not often seen, the uh, the Lance, what is it? Lance of Stone, plus 150% damage against buildings, um, which really helps, um, especially against Atlantean buildings. Um, but one thing I didn't like when we were pushing all of this front, I would have rather Boyt been pushing through here, because look at this. The town center's, the, top, the Titan Gate is right here, literally like a, two screens away from area we control and there's nothing protecting it but instead we're boyd's all in down here with elephants that kill buildings but are kind of slow to accomplish a whole lot else and really we didn't even need the elephants down here because Rifangs really starts cleaning up this bottom half here um 
And Boyd just kind of ignores all of this to the point where he's kind of gets separated. Um, his two bases here, because he he loses this and the Tartarian Gate. Nice use actually, the Tartarian Gate here. But because everything Boyd has is way down here, and I'm out of the game because I'm still trying to get my. I mean, I have a few Arcus, but they don't do a whole lot. I'm. It's still a two v three essentially. Uh, but a nice, a nice uh, tart there. And I also would have been a fan of using the implode on this as well. Because Rifang has implode. So if you imagine the difference, if these elephants are here, which they could have been, we use implode on this, the Titan Gate might not even go up. And a Titan on this small of an island with this many town centers is just a pretty big problem um, for us because we're winning on on land right now we're we're, we're doing a, a a pretty good job overall we've cleaned up a lot of their town centers and titan or uh yeah town centers at one point right before these town centers went down this one and that one we were actually up 10 town centers to three um at that point and, I mean, really, a 10 town center to 3 advantage should be a win. The problem is the Titan on this small of a map is so good because he can just bounce from town center to town center. And now I'm trying to push on this one. Get to... At this point, do we have C... Boyt still being in Heroic Age is a bit of an issue, because realistically, rather than me trying to attack this town center, Boyt could just have upgraded siege ships, and we could clear that out and get an even more uh, town center advantage. Uh, but it's still a very even game. We're just in a bit of a dis state of disarray, because Boyt's getting split off this... This town center and this town center were kind of split off from where everyone else was on the mainland. Um, and even though we're kind of pushing everywhere else, like this push here at this point, I mean, what's really the point in fighting right here? Like, what are we gaining? Um, it's just buildings. Like, there's. If all of this is maybe up here and we kind of clean up over to this point and get back control of this, it's so much better. There's also something um, right here. So purple does not have a town center on the mainland. This is it. This is purple's mainland economy is right here. I mean, we, we literally have map control of this, but we're attacking here, which doesn't really matter. And purple's got nothing other than this. Oh no, they're running right past. Could have killed his only ox cart. But we're just so focused now on coming over to this direction that we don't notice. And meanwhile now, the Loki who was at zero town centers, which puts him in a pretty... A spot where we can kind of handle that pretty easily. You know, zero town center Loki. There's not a whole lot of population. But yeah, Raifang. Really good spot. I mean, he's fighting four to one town center against red. The problem is, it's not just him against red. Because purple's down here a little bit. Yellow's down here with... Uh, mercenaries from this and then the Loki where's what's the Loki doing it looks like the Loki is now just trying to get his bearings back grabbing town centers to get population um then we've also got this Titan coming down to attack maybe holding on to the implode a little too long okay we did get the town center down but like right now use use implode I don't know if you do use it now but you got kind of a decent number of villagers that funneled in. And yeah, Boyt essentially is not on the mainland now. Like, the problem is, for what happened here, is that 
Boyt is now at the position where I was when I lost my 11 citizens. Oh, you're waiting, though, a little too long. Because now these units are too far away. If you would have used it a little bit sooner... This is a little too took a little too long. Because now all the units are over here. If you would have used them when they're all over. Oh, you're not even gonna stop the tight the town center though. Yeah. It was a little too late. 30 20 seconds earlier, right here, when you still had units and they all had their units, it would have been so would have been a quite a bit better. half damage to it um, yeah I could have done it a little bit sooner um, but yeah so like now that I'm finally after losing 11 citizens I'm I'm back in the game this is a time where now Boyt is out of the game because um, he's completely pushed off the mainland um, he, he has no population right now because all of his once he lost these town centers up here all of Voigt's population was in the um, water town centers. And it's kind of one of those things where once you start losing population, you don't have the population space to defend further. So now he can't answer these three war barges that are just floating along and have now killed three of his town centers. And where is the flaming weapons used? We got a little bit down here. And that's about it. Oh, those. <laughs> Nijo comes up here. I don't know if he thought, like, he wouldn't get attacked by these Tartarian spawn or something. Um, but yeah, he's up here. <laughs> Trying to build that. And see, Tunisan is still, like, he's only at one town center. That's not a lot he can do. The problem is the Loki that we kind of have it eliminated with zero town centers. Now he has two and a pretty decent army. And then all this time we've got this Titan just wandering around, just hitting our town centers. What are the relics and why no garrison? Um, I don't know what the relics are. The problem is there's so much going on in a game like Vinland Saga where you've got the water, you've got to transport units. It's hard to spend the time to look at relics and see what they are and are they worth getting. Um, we've got the armor of Achilles, which that's decent. Yeah, there's probably some decent relics that would be worth picking up. Um, it's just, there's just so much going on. But yeah, see, I'm back in the game. I'm at full pop now. But Boyd is taking my spot. It is no longer, no longer there. Where's my temple? My temple's not on the starting island. It's still down here, I think. Something. Let's see Boyt being so slow to age up. I mean, he's not even mythic. And that's... Really, that's just because... He had so many... These villagers on farm should have been to the mainland so long ago. So long ago, Boyt. Uh, sub him out. He's trash. Uh, but yeah, we're working on a 28 minutes and still not. All you have to do is look, you got, all you have to do 10 minutes ago is build a transport ship or put them in your Leviathan. No excuses, we just want results. But yeah, Boyd, he's where I was. I was eliminated early and now I'm back, but Boyd's eliminated. So it, again, it turns into a 2v1 with Raifang trying to carry. Um, but still close. I mean, we're at a very close point here because you you still have to look at the town centers. It's kind of what matters here. And we're at eight town centers, and they're only at five. Oh, don't attack the trade. Stupid units. Why are they attacking the trade? Apparently, my units really wanted this caravan to go down. But yeah, we're in... 
we're in, still not in a bad spot. Oh, that's a big fire giant spawn there. Okay, I do. Hero eyes. A little bit of a fight over these back town centers to try to get them back. I think now Rifeng is running a little bit out of steam, mainly because of the gold. Because the problem, too, with this Titan roaming around is that we can't get a reliable trade route. Because every time the Titan kills a town center, we have to, you know, we have to redo where our gold miner or our caravans are going. Mosca still very low hit points or very low economy and stuff, but you, I think he was getting tributed by Nino. But like they don't have a, uh, a water economy. They don't have anything on land. I. Did not mean to make this many fire siphon or this these many siege by reams. I meant to make six, and I guess we're making like a lot more than that. That's a lot of population that now is not accomplishing much. And Boyd's got a lot of. This is just for us. It's a little bit too much population put into water right now. Um, another thing that. At least I did not realize is that this town center is in water range, so that's another one that seed ships can get off and uh, take down. Um, but yeah, I mean, even with them having a titan, we're still holding on pretty well here, um, as far as town centers, because that's what you got to look at. We're still six, eight to four town centers, so looking good. In that regard, the question is, are we filling up our population space? Rifeng is. I am. And Boyd is. Like, right now, we're okay. Yeah, trade barges would be something cool to include. Yeah, that would be something that would be nice to have. And see, now Boyd's got a little bit of an armor here. And some elephants. This is a nice little tower spam they got going, though, down here. Because these elephants are scary. And Boyd with the... 31, 32 minute... Mythic Age. This Titan's at half health now. I wasn't able to keep this town center down, though. That was... A bit of an issue. And part of it was... Now I'm out of gold again, because our trade routes keep going idle. Uh, but part of it was I put all of these resources into a, into boats. If I do all those resources here, I probably keep this town center down. And he doesn't get it up. Um, that would be quite a bit different. Man, this... This Titan, though, it just does so much damage. There's just so many town centers and so so close of an area. Go close. Don't kill the birds. Go close. And now with the now our bigger issue actually is that um, the gold mines on our half of the map are out and our trade route keeps getting destroyed that um, we're out of gold tornado doesn't quite I'm a little slow to get line of sight here we wanted just to be able to get it with the tornado and unfortunately now I have to vortex which I did not want to do really didn't want to use my vortex so I wanted to push somewhere else um, so we get the we get the uh, to the Titan gate down into Red's trade route I think I get this town center down too maybe one bad thing about the Gaia is I'm trying to like time shift buildings in over here and I can't because there's lush everywhere and I think I start way back here if I get around to it Oh, what this guy's doing. I think I'm trying to get line of sight. Or what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, this is a nice little vortex where it kills the Titan Gate, 
Town center. Town center. I'm just slow to re I could have been shifting right there. I'm just not paying attention, I guess. But now this is a problem. Where did the Titan finally go down? It did finally go down. But in that time, what happened is the Loki took control of the back of the map. And now the Loki is that. Hey, he got a relic. He got the one that gives more um, population. I know the Titan's not quite dead yet. But yeah, the Loki is now following up and taking control of the back of this map. And his economy is like almost non-existent other than just pure dwarves. <laughs> But again, I mean, you still look at the town center difference. We're at eight town centers, and they only have four. It's just, with this Titan still roaming around, we can't get the gold to make units. The only, buddy who do the only person who has units is Boyt, but I'm guessing he actually probably has, like, 120 civilian units. Yeah, 125 civilian units. So he's really only got 55 population for military. And I mean, you you still look like this is where late game you have to um kind of start resources. Except in this case, they kind of do because we ran out of gold. But population is kind of the only resource that matters late game and as long as you're effectively using it it's good but like the one downside with elephants is that they're so slow that when they're not actually fighting something that's five population that's wasted um, so it's kind of like the elephants are very good with that straightforward push um, but like once they clean this up now they're they're man these towers are actually kind of Doing some work on too. Into you. But yeah, we could have gotten on this Titan. Um, at least the Titan gate. Easier. But I mean, we slowly get it down with the uh, bird. This bird has probably been spending the last 10 minutes shooting at the Titan. <laughs> Nice to get on this town center, actually. I don't think I quite ever get this. Yeah, it actually used to be in the olden days. Mass elephants would win games over and over and over. Look, see, he made... Look, what are you talking about? Here's, here they are. Right here. Uh, but yeah, over time, players have kind of been able to like you don't see the thoth anymore like it used to be isis into thoth was a pretty common pick oh this sounds better go up oh just barely wow all right finally the titan is down but in that last few minutes of the titan is when purple took control of the top of the base and so now you look at the town center difference and we've got five to now there's seven. So now we're the ones that are behind in the town center um, fight there. And we also start having... Well, play... Nino played this game uh, really well um, overall. Nino put a good game in here. Um, and now he realizes kind of that... I mean, all of our town centers are here. So you flat, just get control of the water, and they're so easy to take down one at a time. And it's kind of that domino effect of once one town center goes down and your enemies pops, you can't make more boats. Um, I think. And now, oof. yeah, it just keeps pushing, pushing down. And yeah, two, six, I mean, seven, it's now seven town centers to seven because we took this one down. Um, Boyd's at 199 of 160 pops. So like his issue is he can't even make boats if he wants to unless he deletes a whole bunch of units, which 
I mean, could he delete these elephants? Because, I mean, you kind of asked the question, what are they... Are they really accomplishing anything right now? Maybe, maybe not. Rifang is not quite at full pop. I think, yeah, I'm at 119 to 100 pop. I don't even have a banner right now. <laughs> I think my issue is that I don't have a market at this point. Maybe I do. I do have a market. There we go. I had to buy wood to build a manor. <laughs> Where is my manor? I'm housed. I'm beyond housed. I must be thinking that like, I don't even have a town center right now. There's my house. Built my house somewhere. Two, five, see six, seven to six town centers. Nino's got a lot of gold in the bank. Moscow's got 188 population, and as a Loki, that's scary. That's just so many units. And who's the other one? Tunisian, 120, 120. See, the game's still, I mean, we're down in score, but it's still, the score, the game isn't quite out of hand. The problem is our, I'd like me making these <laughs> hot upgraded towers. The problem is, it's still our gold. We're all struggling with gold. Because now our, even though we have the Titan down. Get it, right bank. Yeah, right bank with the Titan gate snipe. But the problem is, because the Loki got up here, our trade routes are still really bad. And so we can't. We can't quite do it. Okay, so here's a big one here. Raifeng starts building this gate literally in the middle of the island. Like, you know, at least put it, like, back here or something. But he puts it right here. And Mosca kind of ready. He's got three bat boars coming here. You got to wall it off, too. Gotta wall it off. It's just so risky. There's so many, when you build it so far into the middle of the map, there's just so many units that can come in and attack it right away. And he's got more pigs that came from up here. So we've got six pigs coming down to a Titan gate that, yeah, you just gotta, in a situation like this, you just gotta prep a little bit more before you start building it. Because realistically, if if we with if we withstand that initial battle boar push, our Titan the Titan probably does get up. But I'd say at that point that Titan is kind of our last gasp into winning um, because we're just getting now slowly pushed off of, I mean now we're at one two three four town centers they are at seven um, we also now have a timer over our head where not only do we have to try to win back the land up here we also have to kill this wonder within 10 minutes and we're I mean we're working at it we're Rifang really doesn't have the economy right now to build anything other than just that Titan. So, like, if I think back here would have been a better spot. It's just we didn't know what was back here because we didn't have line of sight. So, theoretically, there could have been a whole lot of Yo Loki buildings. But, like, if this Titan maybe gets built back here uh, with some walls you know, set up prematurely, um, the Titan probably gets up and... Now they have to deal with the Titan, but would it make a difference? I'm not sure. But, you know, we do a nice little side, you know, counter push up to the top here. And we take over this top part of the map. What is this? And where am I bringing this? Yellow's kind of gotten control of this bottom few islands, though. Two, four. But yeah, see now they're able to get all their town centers down here. 
And now, like, Tunison, who was at one town center for pretty much the whole game, is all of a sudden, he's at three town centers and loving life. And a nice little fire siphon push here, and we just don't have the units to, uh, mm -hmm. to fight back on that. Don't have the units. And, like, now it's like the Loki really isn't doing a whole lot. Asuka, yeah, he's now all he went from 180 population and now he's at 90 population. So they we kind of cleared him out, but like it, on the flip side, Tunison, who had not been doing much all game, now he all of a sudden has 160 of 160 population and is full power. And it looks like old, old um, Nino is like tributing gold out the wazoo. I think he's got quite the uh, trader out going because he's been able to kind of trade pretty easily here for for a while off of these back town centers that never got killed once they've been up for like the last 20 minutes or so. But yeah, we got this whole back island, back of the island cleaned up. So yeah, like Vinland Saga, I just. These, these, the, uh, this map and maps like this should be played so much more. Um, obviously, you're not going to get them as you know, we're throwing in the towel because we have no economy. Um, Rai Fang doesn't have much. Boit is okay. I mean, really, we could have maybe played on this a little bit longer, but we were, we weren't. We weren't able to hold this push. I mean, this push of fire siphons and champion Arcus. Like, we weren't able to hold it, so we would have gotten pushed off the mainland. But you know, we had had a lot of chances here. This was a very close game. Really, about as good of a uh, really about as good of a Vinland Saga game as you're going to see um, here. The, the fish boom I don't have a problem with. Like, all of this fish up here and all the fish that I made, it's very good. The issue was that Boyt, for example, also had all of this. And if you look at, like, Boyt's resource count, um, he wasn't quite as far ahead early on. Um, but a lot of Boyt's resources were into... Um, food early on. Um, I mean, he has, you know, all this food and no gold. Um, but like one thing, if you if you kind of sort it down to one thing that happened that would have changed this game was Tunison getting a really good pick on my um, my transport ship with eleven citizens. Because that basically knocked me out of the game for almost 10 minutes. Um, and just, I mean, as close as the game was with me getting knocked out for 10 minutes, um, certainly without me losing that transport ship, I'm positive that we would win. Because I had all the food that I needed. Um, I just needed gold. And losing the 11 citizens, I no longer was able to get gold. I only had three citizens on the mainland, so I couldn't age up. But, like, realistically... <laughs> Um, or, or whatever, um, with the 11 citizens on the mainland gathering gold, gathering wood, I would be able to age up with a vortex and be able to get on their Titan gate. Um, uh, cause I would have been just as quickly to the age up as, as Rifang. Um, he was at 1840, which was when the town, the Titan gate was still getting built. I probably could have been faster than that. Um. Because, yeah, I mean, you look at my resources. I mean, you compare it to Raifang. I mean, this is, right here is the point where my citizens died. And you can see that it just, I mean, I was the same spot as Raifang. I would have been, you know, at 18 minutes, I'm 10,000. You know, that basically cost me 10,000 resources um, in a span of six minutes. So, yeah, I mean, it's amazing, you know, just losing those 11 citizens. Very, very greedy for me to try to set them down. Vegamon. Is that a Digimon? 
You used to watch Digimon. But yeah, my, the point is I should be able to have Mass Mermillo um, and then Traitor to be able to kind of sway those early first couple of fights against the Loki on land. So yeah, me losing me losing that transport ship kind of made life for us so very difficult to the point where we ultimately did not win. Um, it's kind of amazing when you think about like a game like this where so many things happen. There's generally a few things that you can look at and just say, if this one thing would not have happened, the game would have been different. And like in this case, that one thing is red catching all my, uh, my villagers Wait. in that transport ship. Um, completely different game then. Uh, but yeah, phenomenal game. I love Vinland Saga. Really is a fun map. We should we should play it more. Does that mean old boys will play it again later? Uh, we shall see. But yeah, if you look at another very interesting uh, part of the timeline is town centers. You can see at this point, 10 to 3 town centers. That should be a win. But there was that Titan. So even though we are for the moment ten to three, the Titan gets us down to here and just keeps keeps blowing us up. And you can see we have military advantage, not here. And then once the Titan goes down, is they were able to stabilize enough to where now we don't have the military advantage. Oh yeah, very close game, very fun game. Yeah, it was the Titanic game. It's very good. Titanic for two for two reasons. I like it. Play on words. Titanic because the boat sunk. Titanic because their Titan just absolutely wrecked us. Just ruined it for us. Um, but I think I will do the final ob series um, another time so what this means is ob is 0 and 4 going into our final match and it's getting a little bit late so i got stuff to do around the house so we will stop at our 0 and 4 point and then do a recorded game review of our last series um maybe friday you know a little pre-christmas a christmas eve stream friday into saturday uh, but thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate people tuning in. It's been a, been a long while since I've actually just kind of sat around and watched some recorded games. Um, that's kind of fun. Um, could we have won the Vinland Saga game? Yeah. Could we have won the other three? They were kind of kind of steamrolls. So I don't know. But yeah, could have won that one for sure. But um, that's it for tonight, guys. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas, or Happy Qua Happy Hanukkah, or Kwanzaa, or whatever else it may be for you. So 